Keep it going again. Um, today, yeah, it's going to be a short session. Um, I had a few things I wanted to do, but um, it's been a long day today, and I'm a little bit tired, so I just thought, yeah, I'm going to do at least the controller bit of the Fantasy Console TR TR8 that I'm working on. Um, so I'm putting together things to do a silly small game. Um, I'm not completely sure really about anything in this project, but uh, for now that's what I'm trying to put together. Um, and as I go, I'm going to implement the things that I need. Um, so for now, the the game console uh, is using the default uh, EGA palette, um, which yeah doesn't look amazing great but for now I think it's fine yeah I've been drawing this this afternoon I'm not sure really what I'm doing um so something like this I mean it's going to be now I mean this is just for, for testing and playing a little bit yeah no, it looks okay I also I'm not sure about dimensions because I'm, I'm doing 128 per 128 uh, pixels but that's going to leave the play area a little bit small right so I'm not completely sure if sprite 16 by 16 is going to be too much or it would make more sense to make them smaller or maybe just make the screen larger but then there will be other problems like um, yeah having a frame buffer on more than 16k sounds a little bit too big what well, do i have the memory map somewhere uh i think i have a memory map yeah okay i mean it will be we will be reducing this quite a bit so i don't know Making it, I mean, I don't know how, how, how big could it be? Like 160 or 160. That's already 25, 25k. <laughs> it's too much. Um, and if we do, I'm still 12k. Hmm, well, 12k, 12K is, is okay. I mean, we could keep giving it to 16k uh, by doing maybe like what? 102, maybe six, 18k by doing because I'm doing, I'm, I'm using anyway. Uh, four bits per pixel so we could be including um, including two pixels with one byte um, but I'm not doing it at the moment because it's just it makes things complicated and I thought we had enough memory so let's go with this and I can always change it later so right the controller so the the virtual machine, uh, the fake CPU, you um, said. I mean, it's inspired by different CPUs, but obviously there is a lot of inspiration for this from the Z80. So I'm using ports for that. So what is the documentation? Do, 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 instructions? No, 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 no. Controller. So written on the port F0, you get one byte. That has eight one-bit plugs with the states of, uh, state of the controller one and F1 for controller two. I'm, I'm I kind of like the idea to control it so I can do a pong or something like that. Um, and these are the bits, which is two buttons, deeper for directions, select and start. Okay, so that's going to be 
in so I have two different modules. I have the virtual machine that implements the virtual machine on itself, and then it has an interface um, where you can provide an implementation of the write function, the read function, so write memory, read memory functions, and one to to handle the the call support. So, because that's what we're going to use to interface with with input output. So I guess. Mm. Okay, so this is the blitter, um, which is controlled by a port, and I think it's just adding the same. So we're going to have so. Oh, controller, two of them, it's too late, too, too long, two CTL, all right, so let's put in zero, so two controllers, and we said it's going to be Controller one is going to be F zero, right? So it's going to return the value of that. Right? And I guess for controller two is the other one. Okay, so that's the interface with the port. Um, but obviously, we need to provide information for this, right? So I think what we're going to do is um, what are we going to do is probably make a what did it do with the uh, yeah something like this so so update control or CTL and we're going to pass an event and we're going to check it I think so at the moment I have a poll loop here, poll loop, like classic SDL. So poll event, and then if it's K down, then we check this. So yeah, because escape exits the, the game, and I'll return is for full screen. So, so if it's K down and none of them is, of this apply, then update CTL event and if it's K up, E up. The same. And so what is SDL K down? Yeah, I wish it would it will tell me. Okay, so let's look at the event. So and that is event type. So event do, 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 do. type. I don't know what it is. It it is an integer. Data fields is a union. Ooh. Ah, oh, type. I'm completely blind. Okay. So. So.
What is that? Deering. Yeah. So type. Twice. Why is unhappy about this? Why is not doing the color highlighting properly? Okay. So no, we don't need that because we are getting it anyway with the event, right? Yeah, we just need to do that. So if it's K down, then if it's K E up. Because I'm going to implement the keyboard first and probably will worry about the controller at a different time, I think. So if event type is SDL A uh, mm, Let me think, 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 let me think. So okay, so if it's up, we need to set the value to zero. And if it's down, although I think very often it's the other way around in in 8 bit uh, CPUs, right? Not completely sure. Anyway, um, let's let's do a switch. We we'll start with. Uh, we can decide how we will take that. But I think it's going to be the same, it's just that it's going to be, um, so, so, okay, so, um, is the LK up for the cursor? Um, yeah, I need to set. Okay, so huh. I'm trying to think how I do this in a nice way because the keys are going to be the same, right? But I don't want to do okay, so if the event type. It says the LK down. Oh no, we need to filter that. No, we are filtering that already. So if it's K down, then CTL 0, uh, then we set the bit. What bit is this? So I guess down is. is 0, 1. Uh, let's have some yeah um so CTL by one and be one zero Two, it's going to be one up, down, left, right, um, select, start. Okay, let's align this a little bit. Oh. And then it's just two, three, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, so so this is going to be CDL uh, up, right? Otherwise, it has to be the other one, right? Hmm. So how awful is that? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, we can make a macro maybe. So, so, uh, CDL bit. Then we can say. No, I don't like it. I think it's fine. I mean, we could be doing CTL zero equals. Then we got this. Then we do CTL zero or CTL up. Otherwise, it's CDL zero and CDL. and this looks pretty much like a macro, so it could be X. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so we could be doing a was, and then we can do b. Then it's going to be a or c d l. Now we're going to say what are we testing, right? It's not worth it. I'm going to keep it like this. And that's it. So, down is going to be down, down. Let's do that. Left. And right. I'm um, need. I don't want. Bottom to start select. So fire. Uh, no. Uh, what is going to be fire one? I I get set for example. Then. Buy one, then set, and then X. Take part two. Then we can do, for example, S or start. And B for select. Okay. So that's going to give us one control. Uh, okay. What is complaining about? So um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, everything is wrong. EB is a pointer. Okay, 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 okay. So let's change that. My bad. So EB dot. Please change it to EB. Okay, so those are not the keys. Oh, sealed. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So. Okay. 
Ooh. Okay. And those keys are not what I thought they would be, so... Is still complaining an EV being a pointer? Why did I miss that? Oh, here. For that one. Okay, so... Oh, thank you. Compiler. That's very nice. Yeah, it's not... It's not like that. It's lowercase. Okay, and why have okay? Because I didn't change this. It's a right. It's going to be right as well. Yeah. So far one, far one, far two, far two, up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right, start, start, select, select. Okay. So yeah, everything seems to be fine. So it's updating. Well, we don't know, but it should, right? Okay, let's close some things here because I don't have space. So update controls is doing it. So if it's down, then it sets the flag, and if it's up, it presses the flag. And any other key, we don't care. All right. Um, so I guess we can see it, right? Okay. Oh, no one. Okay, so yeah, when I press up, it says the right one. So yeah, I would say that is okay. Cool. So these are the keys for one player. Now for the second one. I intended to only support controller. So, but I don't know. I mean, for now, this is going to be enough, I think, for testing. For what I'm doing. Okay, so. Um, now, here, I'm doing stuff. So, I'm doing this is the one that is, uh, well, it's not a game. Some ideas, right? I'm implementing an entity system and a few things that I think I'm going to use. Well, it's kind of what I use in every in every game. Um, so let's take a look. So we have so in the main what we do is we call this init function that says uh, an interval handler, so we can call hold to sync with the frame, then uh, I I draw this terrible pattern for the background so I can test some things. And as part of the init, I draw the entities. So the entities currently is going to be a, an array of these. Type of entity, x, y coordinates, the memory address of the sprite and the memory address, memory address of a function that is going to update the entity and a marker for the end of the list. So in entities, well, what we have is three functions. Well, once we finish with the with the init, well, the internal handler doesn't do anything for now. This is where probably we're going to put we're going to update the, the sound, uh, but there's nothing for that for now. 
So after the init, what we do is we get the gain loop. The gain loop, the only thing it does is halts. So it waits until the frame interrupt. So because interruptions are enabled when you run halt, CPU halts until there is an interrupt. And there is an interrupt one every, you know, once every, you know, 60 times per second, because that's where the frequency that my skin is updating. So what happens is that, you know, that's how we control the speed. Then, so for every frame, we erase the entities. So uh, I'm storing the background in the memory address. Um, so, so, okay. So draw, draw what it does is gets the background where we're going to draw the entity and stores that in a memory address. It's 256 bytes. Then we draw the entity. So with that background that we are copying, when we call erase in the next uh, iteration, we, I mean, this is, this is, I think this is, mm, is it this correct? Yes. Because, okay, so what we do is, yeah. So we draw and then we erase here the previous frame because it's the update that changes X and Y. So basically <laughs> we wait for the frame interrupt. We erase the previous frame, we update the new, to, to know the address, you know, the coordinates of the new frame. And then we get the background and we draw the, the entity. I mean, it still needs a lot of things uh, because I mean, at the moment there is only one entity, um, which is the player. So entity erase is actually using uh, it's using the blitter, and basically what it does is iterates uh, until it gets the marker, and it erases all, all of them basically actually uh yeah i was thinking about something uh let's do it very quickly so because so this is the this is the main loop of erase right so we iterate blah 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 and this is the code that is running the blitter right and i was thinking and i think we're going to see that yeah so so basically the the code of the blitter is exactly the same here uh it's just that when we call when we do the the call to the blitter at the end this is reading because we're copying and this is writing so i think we can abstract that in this into a function so let's call it Bacon, lettuce, PLT, and tomato sandwich. Um, which is going to be this, basically. I think. So, we can put it here. So, it's going to be the same. Setting mo settings mode. Um, I don't know if I should document how it works, but yeah, let's do that. Uh, in stack uh, uh, yeah I mean we could pass in the mm, let me think let me think let me think let me think makes any difference makes any difference mm, no so let's do it so yeah so okay so what we're going to do we're going to receive in in y is going to be the right mode then uh then what a X has 
has the entity. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So, first of all, we save the right mode because we need to use Y to communicate with use, and we're going to use it in the ports, see? So we're going to override that. So what we do is, so we put the blitter in settings mode and then we increment the port to, to the settings, the setup. So, um, now these comments are wrong. So, because this is going to be, we still don't know, right? Okay, let's call it address. So this is setting up the address. And this is a problem. Yeah, when I wrote that, I didn't like it. It's a bad idea. Because... Hmm. Because I need him B also, okay. So X, Y entity and B is the entity index. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit messy. So it's okay. So now we have the entity index in the top of the stack which is B. Perfect. So yeah, but that's not that's not correct. Now we can do it like this. Because this is true for the background. Um, but for the sprite, we're going to load the sprite here, right? So um, we need to use the stack. I can do it like this. Uh, can we? Can we do it like this? Do we need to use the stack? So I. A and X is entity, that's fine. Then... So B can be the entity index. It can't because we need an address. So it has to be an address. And if we use an address, it has to be... Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. So entity address. Do we really need the entity? Um, because we only need X and Y, right? So I don't know. So we need an address and then we need add, uh, X and Y coordinates for the bit there. So it's going to be address, X and Y, the size is going to be 16 per 16, and then the, the right mode. Too many parameters to use with. Uh, so we can, I mean, we can use for some of them. We don't need there to use the stack for everything. We can use so getting B and Y for the rest. I mean, uh, okay. We can use A. It can be X coordinate. Um, X can be Y coordinate. And then on the, st on the stack, uh, we have 
the address and that's it right oh okay let's do it i don't know how to actually so we can have the address and the light mode okay let's do that So settings mode, then setup. Now the address is going to be probably better if we do it the other way around. It doesn't matter really too much, but I like it better like that. So for the address, we're going to get from SP plus. So so plus two. So plus two will be the lower part of it. So, and we'll write that. And then plus three, the high part of it. So that's the address. Now it comes the X. So the X is A. And Y is going to be X. Shall we use X and Y instead? <laughs> okay, let's do that. Uh, the Y coordinate, okay. So we can use B for the value and I and change it to many things. This is never going to work at the first time. So the address is going to be now is B. B B Oop. That looks okay. Then X I mean it's funny because that's the name of the register as well, but and then sixteen by sixteen and then we're going to bleed and for that we need to get we get the mode that's going to be sp plus four yeah i think it's correct and then it's A, B, and we return. Okay. So, in this case, erase. So, it's going to be, I guess, yeah. I don't like it. See, the problem with this is that in this loop, I'm keeping A and X for the entity address. <clears throat> yeah, it uses that. but I wrote a six and then here is going to be six and in this way we preserve preserve no we don't preserve no we don't preserve this is wrong 
So this has to be Y. <laughs> oh, Y, oh, Y. Okay. It's okay. I mean, do I need to do it? Probably not. We could be leaving, mm, you know, the code like it was because, I oh, know, it's going to be faster. We don't, I mean, it's slightly faster. I mean, this is a fake CPU and everything, so it's very fast. So let's let's relax a little bit and just write it and see how it goes. Okay, so with this we only use B and Y and the stack. Okay, so so let's prepare thing prepare things. So setting mode, we don't care about this anymore. And then here we probably okay save bg so this has to be the last one so push y and like this push y and then because it has to be the other way around right So it's going to be X, Y. Wait a minute. No, we need to change the order. It has to be Y, X. Okay. Because I have X, Y here, so I need to push them in order. So push Y. Yeah. Push Y. All right. And then the right mode. The last one. So L U Y example because it's the one we're using so this is erase right with no mask with no transparent so it's going to be one so and we don't need to get this thing off I call entities BRT. and then we have to do a few pops, right? So, so one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yeah. So five pops. And then it crashes. Oh, it's not crashing, but it's not erasing things properly anyway. So let's see. Um, so when we do the call, the first thing we have on the stack is the return address, which is two bytes, right? So the next thing we get is oh, but this this is not zero anymore. Huh. huh, it's going to be a lot. So zero was before zero, but now is one, two, three, four, five. No, three. So zero, then it's one, two, three. Yeah, three. And I think that's likely to be the problem. Yeah, there you go. 
So, okay. So that's using the entities BLT. Cool. Excellent. So now we need to do the similar similar thing with this. Oh my god. Interesting. No, this is the entity update. Wait a minute. Update next. No, that's not the problem. Okay, draw next. Draw next. That's the one that we need to think about now. Okay, so uh, this goes away. And this is going to be the last one. So push Y. Push Y. And it was the other way around, right? Okay, so let's take a look to that. Because that's, we know how to do it now. Yeah, it has to be the other way around. Like this. And we know it's going to be three. So, destination background. Cool. So, this is exactly the same that we, we have done in the other one. Okay, so it's going to be the same, but the mode is going to be... Alright, okay, let's copy it. So, instead of right now transparent, it's going to be say, it's going to be a read. Because we need to read the, back, read the background to preserve it, right? So... Get this... And we need to restore the stack after that. So we pop all the things we pushed. So we push fresh read not transparent. Destination X, destination Y, destination say BG, uh, which is three now, zero, one, two, three. Yeah. And to this BLT, we popped all this stuff. And this is the when, when, okay, so this is, okay, so this is, say BG, and here we will do, draw the sprite, okay, so, if we saving the BG, no, it's actually crashing the virtual machine, it's a halt with if, Okay, so there is something wrong here. Uh, what a mess, really. So, read, no transparent. Yeah, that's what we were doing. Push, then. So, AX is the entity type. So, we increment and we get X. Then we get Y. Then destination is we're going to say the uh, say BG. I wonder if we were doing it wrong before here, but we didn't notice. No, no, it's okay because it's erasing the background properly. So 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 so. so. Oh, because I just delete some stuff. Well, this is not in Git, so I need to figure out what I broke now. Um. Oh no, this is fine. Is this fine? Okay, so... So in here... Okay, so... Basically... So X, Y, so AX is pointing, is pointing to this, but we need the sprite. So the problem that we have here, no, it's increasing one here. That's absolutely fine. Oh no, it's, I know what it is, I know what it is. It's because... Wow. I think I know what it is. It's because we have lost the port in B. Could it be that? No. 
So B is exactly what it was. I'm not completely sure if this is correct. So I'm going to specify the board. Interesting. So that's not it. Um, hmm. Hmm. So draw next. So we're going to read no transparent. Is that correct? Mm, yeah. I think it is. So destination, we get the X. So we increase from the type and that is the X coordinate. Then increase another one. That's the Y coordinate. Then what are we going to save? Is it was before zero, but now is one, two, three. So we get that from the stack and we push it high and then the low and then call entities BLT. Entities BLT. What it does is all the stuff, uh, the right mode absolutely six I see okay so this is two and three yeah two and three then we swap this because we doing X first so this is five four sorry four and five and this is six yeah it's okay That's okay. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five in the stack, so we pop in five. And then settings mode. So we have preserved AX. So if we increase one, we get to the address of the sprite. And that's what we're putting here. Ah, then you go. Because we were saving X and Y. There you go. Which is inconvenient now. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. How we do, how we do, how we do this, how we do this. I mean, just, we can, we can just do it. All right, okay. This time, let's make it. Okay, let's make it a little bit smarter, right? So, okay, we're going to draw the sprite. So, it's going to be similar to this. It's not, it's not going to change anything because I'm going to have the same problem, but so right uh, with transparent, so that's going to be a five. And is that true what we're using here? Oh no, it's three, sorry. Okay, so now destination X and destination Y, those are going to be wrong. And so, yeah, and this is the source, which is Sprite. And what is that? Okay, so the Sprite. Um, so yeah so after pushing y we increase so we will move the point there and then we push the lower is that right Is that how we're doing it? 
Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, okay, wait a minute. No, we're doing the other way, way around. What the? I'm confused. Pretty much. I mean, I can do this. Uh, because now this is why. And then. We can do this, put in B, and then push B, Y. Yeah, that's okay. And after that, the next entity is at as uh, it has three, which is one to the second of the sprite. We skip the update, and we are in the next in the in the next entity type. Right, so this looks okay. Um, so we don't care about this anymore. And we can remove this now because. Now, the only problem we have now is to get X and Y. And I think I'm doing this is this wrong because I'm swapping things here and I shouldn't. Yeah, but I think this is how you will do it in C, for example. So I think it's okay. Uh, okay, X and Y. Mm, how do I get those now? Because. Oh, okay. I mean, the problem is when we when I push it here, I have already this push. <laughs> so that means that I can't really save it for later, right? But I, I guess we can. There's something we can do, of course. So. We can push, oh. push A, push X, then this is going to be 5, right? And here, is this more than, yeah, okay, so. So X address. So and we have it already. So we get X, we get Y, we get the sprite. And that's it. I can't believe it works. <laughs> I'm surprised. But I'm pleased. So I didn't expect it to work like that. Cool. Um, and what I was doing, why I was doing this? Oh, because I thought that it would be better to reuse code. Uh, it's quite complicated now. So, what do I do? Do I keep it? I think it's easier to understand in the other way, right? Kind of madness like this, but anyway, let's forget about that because we were trying to do something else. So let's go to the player quickly. So the player at the moment is doing the bouncing left and right. So okay, so 
when the entity update calls the the function that we have in this structure in this structure now in this structure here when we call to player date um, as part of that call is going to push the address of of this structure so we have access to our own data right um, so this is giving me the beginning of that structure now what I'm going to do here is remove all this because we're not going to use it anymore and what we're going to do is We're going to read the, the, the controller, right? It was just the port. Um, I don't remember. So, port, 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 port. I think it was that one. F0, yeah. Yeah. Okay, F0. So, if I do for B, B, uh, because it's a red port, it's a red only, I can put, but I can write whatever I want, it's going to be ignored. And this is going to put in B, uh, the status of the controller. So read controller one, right? So, and then what? And then I guess we can, okay, so before doing that, so I don't remember right now, but I think we want to go to the X and Y and then increase those, right? So, boom, 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 boom. so we need to move. Okay, just increase one. So increase X, and because we may not be aligned, if there is an overflow, we need to increase also A. So that's the X address, right? So in here, what we're going to do is. I don't remember my own assembler. So read me. It's bit. Oh yes, it is. So if we do bit um, b and uh, what is the bit that we're looking for? So going back to here. So left and right is four and five. So if it's bit four then branch zero then four is left decrement uh oh no 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 that's not what we want let's do it again okay so in here let's put in here a x so this is x S calling. So if the bit is set, then we decrement that register. And then we check five. Increment that one and then a x y. And we do the same thing. with the other one with the y coordinate so but now it's going to be up it's going to be two and down is going to be four and what is that <laughs> two 
3, 4, oh man. Numbers, how do they work? Okay, so 2 is up, so that's the increment, increment, and we store it. And that's it, I think. Oh, almost. So left works, so right works. Up, up and down. Okay, so there are two that are wrong here. And it's probably because... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. yeah. It's because I would change that and I didn't go by. Okay, so left, right, now. So, okay. So down doesn't work, right works, and left does funny business. Um, so, okay, so this is because it's the X, we're looking at byte 4, which is left. And then right is right. Then up it's by two bit two sorry and bit 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 three three okay down Yay! It moves! Excellent. Okay, so that's the controller working, I think. Yeah, it's going to be pretty big. I mean, full screen, it looks massive. Yeah, it's going to be very big. I need to think about this because. Yeah, I mean, can make it small, smaller, but I mean, it's going to be, there's not going to be enough to play an area, I think, with this size. And if I make it bigger, we have the problem with the size of the frame buffer. Okay, so, ba -ba -ba -bam, I think... The only one thing I'm going to compile here because the game is just a is a is a play thing. Yeah, I need to I need to compile the game as include the game as well. So otherwise I'm going to have the same problem that I made changes and then I don't know how to go back to it. Ah, okay, so let's do it differently. So so this is um so controller uh okay so that's one thing and now we can include it okay so this is so so okay so that should do it for today I think I'm still impressed that all that change I made it did work first time. Anyway, it's very simple. Um, I mean, it's, there is not even a space for a kind of a space invader kind of thing, right? And to be honest, if I do it 8 per 8 for example, the sprite, because this is a software sprite, really. I mean, it's using the hardware reader. But it's, it's in reality, it's a software, software sprite. It's, you know, it's the oldest stuff we've been doing in, um, 
in the entities, you know, they get the background, instead the background, restore and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's actually, I mean, we have already 1k of code here. I mean, it's, the entity system is not finished. There is only one sprite. And we're just moving around like this. So it's not a lot of functionality in 1K, right? So I don't know. I need to think about this. I mean, I like the idea of the frame buffer because if we use the frame work buffer uh, by using the frame buffer, I don't need to implement a BDP, uh, video display process or whatever. Um, that would be the other option because then I don't need to worry about that memory. I just need to program the the BDP and say, you know, draw this tile here or draw, you know, tiles sprites, basically. Um, that could save a lot of memory uh, for other things. Because at the moment, I need to th I need to think about this uh, different sizes. I don't know for what other type of resolutions would be nice to have. Um, I said for so TK, for example, TK uses what? What is the resolution? Mm, it's not displaying here. Learn. So, 240 times 136. <laughs> 32K. <laughs> That's half the memory. That's a kind of a weird resolution, right? That's half of the memory we have. So, can we make a game in 32K? Yeah, we can, but not a, not a great game. Um, so, I don't know, um, like 200, 160 is kind of better ratio, but yeah, I need to think about this and try to find out like what is the best what could be the right resolution, perhaps. I mean, it's not a big difference, for example, if we do this, because it's going to be what? Uh, like 20 something. I mean, It's just only 4K and a half, more or less, difference. It's not a big deal, but it's really making a difference, 160. I don't know. Anyway, um, I wanted to make this a short one. And yeah, so yeah, I'm quite happy. Uh, that's the controller implemented, at least at the keyboard. Um, I might implement a real controller, but for now, I think it's enough to start playing and doing things with it. Um, yeah, cool. Well, see you next time. Bye bye.